Let's go to this first question here. We've got actually about five people asking this one question, Mr. K. They, they are dying to know from the Elisa Statman book, the recent Elisa Statman book, Restless Souls. Supposedly, this took place in July of 1978, and it says here from the book, he turned, sure that he'd find prying eyes upon him. Even so, Krenwinkle startled him. Stay the blank away from me, she snarled through the chain link fence. And you replied, or Kay replied, and miss all the fun? That was quite a performance in there, Pat, just like old times. She replied back, you're the same as Buliosi looking to make a buck off this case. Well, guess what, Mr. DA? I don't have to take your blank anymore. And then you replied back, supposedly, that's where you're wrong, Pat. I'm going to be here to make sure the only way you leave this dump is in a pine box. And she laughed. Mr. K, did that conversation ever take place with Pat Kernwinkle? Never, never took place. <laughs> that, that's just made up out of whole cloth. Uh, uh, the only thing that uh, Krenwinkel said to me, and it was uh, out out in the hall while the uh, uh, the members of the, uh, uh, the uh, they called it the community release board at the time uh, were deliberating uh, whether to grant or deny her parole. Uh, she said to me, "What the f are you doing here?" And that's that's all she uh, said, and I, I didn't even uh, reply to her. Uh, and you know she had guards uh, around her and everything. So, um, but that's you know t- to be truthful with you, Pat Krenwinkel and I have never had a conversation, even in the in the trial. Now, Leslie Van Houten and I have had many conversations. T L B Radio.